but I'm thinking about it. But we finna get started with the reaction, man. Y'all already know, man, the first video. We got three videos today. We got Brutus Sims, we got All City, and then we got Jay Easy. Um, I, I could do some light workout. I could do some. I could. I really could. I was thinking about that. But I'm going to keep that in mind. But we're going to start off today, man, with Brutus Sims. Um, like I said, man, you know, I try to go to, like, see which videos I'm going to react to based off how far the, tar the title is. And when I came across this title, I was like, okay, we got Duke Dennis. Speaking on NBA 2K25. Me, personally. I love for big content creators to speak on 2K. Truthfully. But then I also, on the other side of me, say... Does Duke Dennis' opinion matter? And I know that kind of sounds crazy for me to say that because we want major content creators to speak on 2K. We really, we need them. We need their opinion. We need their critiques, whether it's good or bad. But from the angle that I'm saying does his opinion matter, the angle I'm coming from is is like is this his lane anymore? And I'm I'm, I'm trying to be careful with, with, with saying this because we know Duke Dennis is a staple in the 2K community. But what I'm saying, because I'm, I want to make this real, I want to I want to make sure y'all don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Is Duke Dennis still, do we still understand 2K? You understand? Do we still understand the online side? Like you said, he's an offline player. He's a guy that is busy with life, making great content. He tapped into a whole other market. So is his input going to be relevant? That's what I'm, I'm, I'm getting at, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be careful how I say this because I know some people brain can't, can't comprehend to go and say, how you going to say dude Dennis' opinion don't matter, bro? What you saying? I'm saying far as is Duke Dennis in the field of NBA 2K25? Is he in the field? Do he really even care that much? So I haven't seen the video, but I'm just I'm just saying though, from that little bit of what I just said, does Duke Dennis' opinion really matter? I think we need people like him to grace us with his presence, just like Sol Luminati. But does Sol Luminati opinion matter about 2K in the current state? That, you know what I'm saying? Like, we need uh, major stars to come back and speak on 2K, but are they going to be speaking on it from a position of understanding the game as it is today? Like, do they still tap in with 2K enough to say, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong, or, or will they be saying outdated information? That, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. So, let's hear what my bro he got to say. And um, let's get started with the video. But first of all, y'all already know, I'm going to react to Brutus Sims, man. The link will be in the description. Y'all know this is one of the goats in the 2K community. They're going to keep us up to date with the information. <laughs> like the three people we, we are going to be reacting to today are where I get most of my information from of 2K. And this is the first one. So, let's get started, man. Brutus Sims. The link will be in the description for y'all to go over there and sub up to his channel if you haven't. And make sure you hit that like button. So we appreciate our brothers going out here, putting in that work, bringing the news back like they do on Fox. 
CNN, CBS. You feel me? They do it. They doing a great job too, and they've been doing it for years, man. The guys that we're gonna be reacting to today been doing it for years, um, bringing us this information, man, keeping us on up to date with what's going on with 2K. So let's get started. All right. This is about to be a kind of controversial video. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this video. Let me start off by saying this real quick, right? Because I saw Duke Dennis in his most recent video highlight one of the biggest issues with the 2K community and how they approach the game. <laughs> so you all see where we're going with this video. Without further ado, I need y'all to grab yourself there. It's your boy. And let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right. Okay, my boy said all the big screamers from the past said 2K don't listen to them. Of course. I mean, I told y'all this. When I got inside of the headquarters of 2K, when I got behind the scenes of 2K, and I seen. People voicing their opinion. Like, I used to think that these dudes wasn't speaking up for us. No, these guys are really voicing their opinions. And it's like, it got so bad that people started talking about real life inside of a 2K Discord. We inside of a 2K Discord. Niggas talking about what they finna eat today. It became of a, a, a social class. It, it's not, a, it's not, it, inside of the Discord that I was in, behind the scenes, we was talking about real life basketball. You'll have a, a drop off to where, okay, now we're talking about what's wrong with 2K. And all of a sudden, somebody will change the subject. Talking about, nigga, what, what, what y'all got going on this weekend? Nigga, what we got going on this weekend? Is this a, a social group or a group where we try to fix the game? So, bro, a lot of a lot of people, just like in real life, when you start pointing out the issues, people start misdirecting you to other shit. So, I seen it, bro. Motherfucker was it really in there. You know me. I was typing. You know, I'm not no big typer in no group. All uh, that shit, bro. Y'all like y'all y'all do all that extra typing. I'm finna tell you what the fuck going on. I'm in that motherfucker typing what the fuck going on. You know, do 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 do. Next thing I know, it's some old niggas do 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 do. Then it's some old niggas do do do. Then it hit on my nigga. Yeah, man, what about that? What about that Laker game last night? What about that Laker game last night, nigga? We up in here with them do 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 do. We trying to figure out what's going on with our game, nigga. Fuck that Laker game. So. A lot of people did get overlooked. A lot of information get overlooked. A lot of information get put in the Discord to just be there. There was so much information that people was putting into this Discord that just got overlooked. So I seen it. I seen it, man. What's good, Jay? What's up, Jay? You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done, no. Your boy brutal, him on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all, man. So we don't get straight to the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, make it a push for that 300k. It's on the way. How long? It's, it's, I don't know if it's delayed or I'm tripping. So let me refresh this right quick. Maybe it seemed like it was just delayed right now. Uh, yeah. All right, this is about to be a first, second, third, no, the gang of Bruce squad. I got to put y'all up there. Okay, I, I, think it, I think it just might be the video. Because I refresh it and it still looks like it's a little delayed. I, I don't know. I don't know. But let's keep going. It's not going to stop anything. Just to show y'all some love, y'all much love, much respect. Now, I was scrolling through, of course, and I saw Duke Dennis post a 2K video. I click on those quick. I hang on front. I know it's a rare sight to see him post video. But one thing he did say was that he do play 2K offline a lot. And he do. 
He played NBA 2K25 offline. You can still see issues offline. You feel me? You can still see broken gameplay, broken mechanics offline. You can. But what I'm trying to, what I'm asking, it goes back to my question I asked in the beginning. Does his opinion matter? Duke Dennis played offline. What I'm asking is, do he care uh, enough? When you're playing offline, bro, you got. When you go from an online competitive comp center, that's what Duke Dennis was known as. I would give him more of a creator, but he still was a dog. He was just, uh, he, you know. He, it was levels, you know, like I told y'all, it's level to being a, a dog. When I say a dog, I mean a highly competitive player. You know, comp, 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 right? Um, so, dude, then it was a dog. You know, he wasn't no big major dog, but he was a dog in the 2K community. So, when you go from being a dog, which he was, he was a dog. Uh, I'm, I'm giving him the title of a dog. He was a dog. But when you go from being a dog, Highly competitive person, but along that he still was a dog. But he was, he was a, a very competitive person, playing online, creating content, getting into wagers, competing, and then you go, you go from that to playing offline. That's a that's a a huge difference. That that. That's like saying you used to smoke cigarettes. Now you smoking crystal milk. I know, listen, I listen, bro. That's a that's a big difference. From playing online as a dog. Not a big dog, but he was a dog. I'm not shitting on dude. He was a dog. You feel me? But it's levels to all of us. All right. Duke Dennis being a dog, but very highly competitive. Go from that to playing offline. That's a major difference. That shows that my boy really don't fuck with this shit at all. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. When I say, does his opinion matter? I'm saying my dog went from a dog that is very highly competitive to a offline player of a 2K. What do you do offline? Let's like, throw it up. Like, come on, dog. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Come on. What do you do offline? My career? Play now against the homies? Every couple other days? What has the offline world got to offer you other than my career and playing against the homies that you done played against for the last 30 years of your life? Offline don't got nothing for a dog that was a holler competitive player. Now he playing offline. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. My boy was smoking cigarettes and jumped up the crystal milk. That's what offline is. Offline is crystal milk. After you've been smoking cigarettes, you've been playing online, competing with the best of the best. You've been known for this. You done built a channel off this. And now you play offline? My boy, I don't fuck with this. If, if you don't have the comprehension skills, I haven't even listened to her Duke Dennis speak yet. But just off of what Brute just told me, I'm going to tell you Duke Dennis don't fuck with 2K25. Duke Dennis probably don't fuck with 2K24. Duke Dennis probably don't fuck with 2K23. Maybe he do. But I'm, let's speak on what we know. Based on context clues, Duke Dennis don't fuck with 2K25. He probably played every now and then. If you're playing offline, bro, and if he really serious about playing offline, bro, offline? No, bro. No. 
have a lot of fun as well. And in this clip that I'm going to share with y'all, he was calling out the 2K community for why they consider the game boring. I know this is going to be controversial. Of course, I'm going to chime in. But before we continue on, I want y'all to check this clip out. Hey, listen, I'm an offline game. All right, I can't count. I play 99% of my games when I'm offline. I never stream it. And that is basically going for 2K. All right. Okay, so he mean offline. Okay. Okay, all right. So my guy, not, he didn't go to the crystal mill. He doesn't mean offline as in play now my career. He mean offline as in live stream. Okay. Okay, because I... Okay, that makes that make more sense to me because you don't go from a highly competitive player, a.k.a. he's a dog at 2K, He's a dog. He's in the category of a dog. Remember what we say? A dog is a nigga that <laughs> busting ass out this bitch. I don't do the no homo shit. I I'm too old for that. I leave that all that no homo stuff for y'all. The reason I mention it because I know the type of character Duke Dennis is. And I know the type of fan base that aligns with him. Y'all be with the no homo and all that. So I said the no homo just to get that. I don't do the no homo shit. So Duke Dennis is a guy that put niggas on their ass. You feel me? He's a dog. So that's why I said offline, my brother really don't give a fuck. But to say now to understand that he do play 2K25, just doesn't live stream it. That still is a very significant thing. Understand this. Anonymous 2K TV. Nadex. Annoying, huh? Bruder Sims, Duke Dennis, Joe Knows, Bash Plug, Fuente, Jay Easy, Instant Burner, uh, um, anybody you can think of that do this for a living, where we get recognition, we blow up, we make money from it. And then all of a sudden we say, we don't care to live stream it no more. Do you understand that? That's an issue. That's not an issue as in you the issue. It's an issue as in something is seriously wrong with this game for me to not live stream it to even want to make a profit. Are you following me? Oh yes, the the play offline play now. I would have thought my bro went to Crystal Mill, and what I mean is a joke, as in like that's a that's a long way from being an online competitive player to playing offline. But to still be playing offline, not live streaming, when you have a name for this, and you're like, ready game to ads. I'm not going to even be live for about ten minutes. I just want to play a couple games with the homies that I know, that I got a relationship with. Yo, we're going to play about five games, y'all, then I'm going to get off. The last time I played 2K, do you know how long I was live streaming? 38 minutes. I haven't played NBA 2K25 in what? A week now? Almost a week. The last time I played NBA 2K25, I was live for 38 minutes. 38 minutes, I was off the game. 38 minutes? Hold on, dog. Let me say this. Let me break this down. Anonymous 2K TV, who have built themselves in the 2K community, who have established himself as a household name in the 2K community. That guy who played thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of games. That guy only played for 38 minutes. We got a serious issue. The same way for like the last five years. Y'all all play the exact same. Y'all don't switch it up. Y'all all copy each other play styles. Y'all run a guard that hunt for threes. Y'all run a lock at the two. And y'all run a big man. It's the same lineup. Everybody play the exact same way. And that's why y'all be getting tired of the game in a week. And I'm going to keep... See, I heard this take a couple of days ago, and I disagree with it. 
strongly, I strongly disagree with this take. I heard this take a few days ago from somewhere. From somewhere. I don't know who video I heard it from. I heard this take a couple days ago, and I strongly, 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 strongly disagree. Basketball is basketball. It don't have nothing to do with having a, a three hunting guard in a, in a lockdown in a center. That's the stupidest shit I done heard. That's the stupidest take I have ever heard about 2K. I heard this take. He's not the first person I heard it from. When I first heard it, I said, God damn. That's the stupidest take. That's the stupidest narrative I have heard on 2K. That is one of the stupidest narratives I have ever heard. <laughs> That is one of the stupidest narrative I have ever heard when it comes to 2K. That is by far one of the stupidest narrative that is going around. 2K is boring because I play to win because I have a point guard, because I have a lockdown. So what should I put on my team? A group of sinners? A group of point guards? A group of shooting guard? Has basketball changed any position in over the last 40 years? There's a point guard, center, small forward, power forward, and have, have they decided to change up? That is one of the stupidest takes I have ever heard in 2K. That is one of the stupidest takes. The game is just bad. It has nothing to do with the way that we're playing. They, oh my. This is how bad the game is that we are blaming the positioning. This game is so bad that people are looking for another reason why the game is bad. Man, goddamn. I be goddamn. I be goddamn. I be goddamn. 2K25 is so bad. Niggas are saying you shouldn't even play with a point guard. So now because I, you know, what the fuck? I got a lockdown on my team. Well, maybe I should replace him with a power forward that sit at the high post. And then the game will be fun. Okay, maybe we shouldn't take it so serious and try to win. Then the game will be fun. Um, and let me say this before I continue. Salute to Duke Dennis and all his success. Um, I always from a distance supported him, you know, um, coming from Memphis, you know, I'm from Mississippi. We right next door. We hung out in Memphis. You know, that, that was another stomping ground of mine. So, um, I always respected him from a distance because of knowing his background and, you know, with the military and stuff like that. So, Never ran across him or had nothing to say in a disrespectful manner and still don't. But this take is one of the worst takes I have ever heard when it comes to 2K. The reason that people are bored is because of the positioning that they're using and the way that they're playing the game. The way that they're playing it. Because they, because they are running behind picks. That's why this is boring, because they're having a lockdown on their team. That's why this is one of the stupidest takes I have ever heard in 2K. And my bro right here is not the first one I heard it from. But this is the first one I'm reacting to. Because then I, I forgot where I fuck I heard this take from. I man, I don't know where I heard it from. But I just said, what the fuck are we talking about? So now we need to call the end. So is the NBA losing viewership because they got a point guard, a shooting guard, and a small forward, and a power forward in the center? Is that why the NBA losing viewership? Y'all, for y'all that don't know, the NBA is having, having a viewership issue right now. 
This is why they're trying to incorporate this 2K shit. I don't know if y'all heard, but the NBA and the 2K is trying to incorporate this, um, you know, the, the, the shot release. They want to put that on a fucking TV. You don't get that stupid ass shit up out of here? No. That's not the reason y'all are uh, uh, fucking up. The reason the NBA is struggling with viewership because they keep changing the rules for European players. But they ain't going to say that. See, they keep making basketball a fucking cupcake game. They keep, they keep giving motherfuckers a tape for showing emotions. You can't even fucking say, ah, you can't even scream. And you got to tape, eject it. Get your dumb ass out of here, referee. The referee is the reason. The rules that they're changing for the NBA is the reason that the viewership. Because, see, yeah, the European people are loving it. But the niggas that grew up off of this sport being in the United States, Although, I think that's why it was made in another country, if I'm not mistaken. But, y'all know, the bread and butter, where it became a global sensation, was here in the United States, right? Now, I'm not saying when it comes to profit, basketball do very well in other places, especially like China, shit like that. They probably make way more money in it. They do, actually. Okay, I don't want to get off subject. 2K performance, the way that the game is played, the way that the game is played versus the defense in the game versus the bad shot contest versus the versus the the the, the poorly timed jump shots, the poorly t the, the 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 broken mechanics. You don't think that's the reason that the game is boring? Because I want to be better than you. Okay, basketball was made in Canada. I knew one of y'all would get me right. So you think you you think you think because I want to be a better player than my boy certified shifty, shifty. I just want to beat you in two K. You feel me, my nigga? I know you good, but I'm good too, and I want to be better than you, and I want to get out here and dominate you because this is what basketball is known for, right? The Celtics versus the Lakers. We competing. Is that why the game is boring? You telling me because I have a drive to compete? That's why the game is boring. No, what's making this game fucking boring and fucking dog shit because I have that drive to compete and 2K is giving me a poor product to compete on. 2K is giving me shitty product. The nerve of you niggas. Females and males. No matter what race you are, the nerve of you niggas to say that the game is bad because of the way you play it. Because you have a point guard that's running behind I hate that shit too, but that don't got nothing to do with why the fuck the game is bad. How about the fact that this little motherfucker ran behind 10 trains, did not get tired, and still was able to make the shot? Maybe that's the reason I don't want to play this shit. How about the lockdown reaching one time and getting a steal every... How about, how about maybe that's the reason I don't want to play this shit? How about me being up on a nigga guarding him tight defense in a game say open? You niggas got the nerve to say the game is boring because of the way that niggas are playing? That's the stupidest take I have ever heard. Because the nigga got a point guard and a lockdown in the center. Oh, that's the issue. The game's so bad, niggas done created a whole other reason why the game is bad. My boy, God damn. God damn, I ain't heard. This is the stupidest take I have ever fucking hard when it comes to 2K. The game is bad because you want to run behind screens. You wanted a lockdown on your team. What? So we're going to skip the gameplay. Why don't you have wages in 2K25? Because of the gameplay. It's because you have a... Thank you for helping me. I love my chat. Thank y'all for helping me. Why can't we have tournaments in 2K? Is it because of the positioning of the gameplay? Why can't we have little competition? Is it because the gameplay or positioning? If any motherfucker say gameplay, then I think that motherfucker been hit upside the head as a baby. Did somebody drop this nigga? And I'm not talking about my brother Duke Dennis, but I'm talking about where I am. That this is his take. So anybody with this take, I feel like you got dropped at one point in time. And it's all fun and game. Y'all don't take this shit serious. We just 
being entertaining alone with speaking the facts. I think some of you niggas are tripping. You're saying that because 2K created a game where all the mechanics, you can't dribble correctly, you can't move correctly. But that's not the issue. The issue is because we have a point guard and a lockdown and a center. And we keep playing the same way. Passing the ball, shooting the ball, playing defense, running behind picks. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? Do we all supposed to just go sit at the top of the three and look at each other? Do we all supposed to go to the paint and look like, what the fuck are we supposed to do other than pass and shooting and running behind picks? What the fuck? Somebody finna create a new goddamn basketball? What type of shit you want them to do? So why is having a point guard in a lockdown in the center the issue, but not the game? Man, you niggas are coming up. Y'all, we got to niggas. Boy, look how you niggas turned this shit back on the community. There you go. Somebody done gave y'all a narrative. And y'all done turned it back on the community. So now the community is the issue for creating a point guard, a lockdown in the center. But the game is not. The, boy, you niggas got to stop it. You niggas got to stop it. See, you, see, I know they hate I came back to the 2K community. Man, that nigga Anonymous gone. He ain't going to be reacting to no more of these videos. So he ain't going to be making no more sense. Because when that nigga, when I was making the videos, I was on nigga ass. Niggas had to get in that DM. You know, nigga was in my DM. Like, God damn, bro. Don't react to videos. You be putting out rubby hair a little different. Yeah, I know. But I done caught you niggas again. You niggas done switch it from the game. Because the game is the issue. But you niggas done switched it from the game and said it's me. And my partner and my other partner for making a fucking point guard a lockdown in the center. Well, you niggas are clever. Y'all would not hold 2K to that fire for nothing in the world. It's 2K fault the reason the game boring. This game, this, 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 God damn it, nigga. That's the stupidest take I have ever heard. I never heard a take that that, that, that was just so blasphemy. I got to get like Stephen A. Smith. God damn it, man. You can't be for real. Yeah. All right, let's continue with the video. Just to recap, let me let y'all hear this one more time before we move forward. I'm going to play this back. And like I said, I, 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 from, from a distance, I have always saluted Brody. And the reason I say that because I know people can take this stuff as Oh, he reacting to a big popular person. And I know he wouldn't take it like that, but you got the little, the little niggas. They don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's Duke Dennis. You can't say that. <laughs> that's a grown man. I'm a grown man. What Duke Dennis is saying, I fully disagree with. Now, I may put some entertaining shit on that. You know what I'm saying? But that take is the stupidest take I ever heard. And I'm going to let y'all hear it again. Don't switch it up, y'all. Okay. Oh. Check this out. Alright, so we're gonna start it back. I'm an offline game. Alright, I can't count. I play 99% of my games when I'm offline. I never stream it. And that is basically going for 2 Alright, I be chilling at home. And whenever I feel like playing 2K, that's when I play 2K. I don't force myself to play it. With that being said, but that's when I have the most fun playing 2K. When I just play for fun. When I'm not trying hard. I had to try hard on 2K in here. With that being said, the game is born to y'all because y'all been playing the same way for like the last five years. Y'all all play the exact same. Y'all don't switch it up. Y'all all copy each other play styles. Y'all run a guard that hunt for threes. Y'all run a lock at the two. And y'all run a big man. It's the same lineup. I don't even play that way. But I just don't understand. That don't even make sense. What the fuck? And this is the sad issue of the 2K community. Narratives like this. My brother told me the other day, he said, man, people just, people really copycats in 2K. When they hear one narrative from one person, they spread it around and everybody just running with the same narrative. People don't think for themselves. How can you agree with what he just said? And this is my brother that I support from a distance. 
when I, when I say from a distance, I don't be on his channel. I don't, but I root for him in life. I, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I know a little bit of the background. I know the environment. So, but should I agree with him because I root for him in life? Should I agree with him because he Duke Dennis? This stupid. How can anybody sit here and say that we playing basketball and I'm supposed to eliminate a point guard who can fucking control the fucking game in the lockdown who can shut down the most powerful person on the other side and a center who, what the fuck is supposed to get there, Duke Dennis? <laughs> what? My, my cat saying I'm being too loud. <laughs> but I'm going to continue to be loud. The shit do I supposed to make? Should I make three power forwards and go play 2K? Where well, we gonna be my dribbler? Should I make two shooting guards and go play 2K? Where well, we gonna get my rebound? What the fuck should I make then? I, it don't make sense, dog. And, 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 and this is what I'm saying. The sad part is, this is not the first time I heard this narrative. And because I heard it a, a week ago that, that the two K community is boring because everybody playing the same way. I don't know where the fuck I heard it at, but I heard it. And now I'm hearing Duke Dennis say this. I guarantee you, this about to be repeated so much. And all you're doing is taking the focus off of the people that is making the game boring. Two K is not boring because of the position that you're making. 2K is born because of the fucking broken mechanics. And when we allow them to create a narrative to take the spotlight off of them, who do you think they're going to blame? So based on what Duke Dennis and others are saying, they're saying we are the issue. you going to let them say we're the issue? Y'all better use your motherfucking head. We are the issue for creating a point guard or a shooting guard in a center. So I'm the issue. Not the fact that this game is dumb shit. Not the fact that they got RNG. Not the fact that I, I so I'm the issue because I want to win. I'm the issue because I want to compete. And that's why the game is boring to me. Man, I don't know. Y'all gonna be talking about to, to, to some first graders. You can't be talking to no grown motherfucking person with a brain. That did don't even make sense. The fact that this narrative have made it to Duke Dennis, I don't, did, I want to did Duke Dennis hear this narrative and now he running with it. Because I heard this narrative before. So who is, who created this narrative? I wonder it wasn't somebody that worked at 2K and fed it to their little minions. And then now the minions are feeding it to the Twitter or X. And then now you got people like Duke Dennis saying the same thing. Well, I tell you, these people are so good at getting the pressure off of them. Well, they so good. They don't put the goddamn blame on the 2K community for making a goddamn point guard and a lockdown in the center. <laughs> Yo, you can't make this shit up. So now we are the issue, the reason the game board, because we playing basketball. Can we keep the basketball? Can we, can we close our eyes? And, 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 and can we travel? Can we hold the basketball and run to the other end? I don't think we can do that. Can we can we kick that bitch like we playing soccer? I don't. So what the fuck else do we supposed to do with the basketball? <laughs> Boy, these niggas gotta stop it, man. Yo, y'all gotta stop it, man. Y'all niggas funny. Who got two K to gain these niggas just narrative, dog? Somebody that somebody that went out here and put out a new agenda to say that we are the issue. So two K don't got no nothing to do with why we. Oh, fuck it. Nah, bro. This shit ain't right, man. This shit ain't right, dog. Y'all can't do this to us. So now we the issue. We the reason 2K is boring because we created a point guard, a lockdown, and a center. But goddamn, y'all, we might as well start making some... Yo, so starting today, y'all, go delete your point guard. <laughs> go delete your lockdown and just make two, three post scores. Shit, fuck it, nigga. Just make make three seven footers, man. Cause I mean, the way that we play basketball is the reason we not having fun. So we gotta figure out how to make this shit fun playing with three lockdowns. 
Yeah, fuck a point guard. We need three non dribbling ass niggas that can play defense and we'll have some fun again. Everybody play the exact same way. And that's why y'all be getting tired of the game in a week. And I'm gonna keep it a bed. And y'all know I'm not capping. You know what I'm saying? So I don't play like that. Y'all know I've been making my own bill, my own version of whatever the case may be. Ever since y'all know me. So But see though, dude, dude, dude. I get what you're saying right there. Yes, dude. We can be versatile in what bills we're making. This is why I don't make YouTube bills. Because I don't want people. This is why I don't make my bill on YouTube. Because I don't want nobody to copy my bill. I get that part. But to say that play style is the reason we're not having fun. That would be invalid because that's basketball. We have to have a point guard. We have to have a lockdown. We have to have a center. If we don't have these things, how the fuck do we play basketball? But no, I can, I can rock with you when you say everybody trying to create the same archetype. Everybody trying to be a copycat. Yo, what's your jump shot? Yo, what's your dribble moves? Yes, we have a disease in that department. And I, and I, and I hope, but that, 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 that ain't what you said, though. You said play style. You said, you said specifically play style. So I had to get on your motherfucking ass about that. But yes, you are 100% right when you're talking about you create your own bill. Which leads to the notions that, yes, Anonymous always make my bills. I don't copy nobody else's bill. You know what I'm saying? The only person I might get a little input from when it comes to making my bill is T. Mizzle. Because me and him have a very similar play style. Other than that, I don't watch no bills videos. I don't want, I don't want your information. I might say, I might pick his brain about something, and he might pick my brain about something. You know what I'm saying? So, but as we making, no, nah, I don't want to make your bill. I don't want to make your bill, but what you think about this? Man, I like that fucking step back you got right there. Now, when it comes to shit like that, like, for example, a step back or behind the back, it's only so many of the motherfuckers that work, so we all might be on the same in that area. But for the niggas that don't even, yo, shout out to everybody that's supporting while I'm talking. I really appreciate that. Um, you might, you might have the same dribble moves, but it's not like I'm finna go down there and take a picture of your shit and say, okay, that nigga got the crossover six. Okay, that nigga got the faded seven. Okay, that nigga got the step back Luca. Okay, now that nigga got the hook shot. Like nigga, that's now nah, see me to me that's a you that's that's too much when you gotta copy your nigga height. Wait, dribble move, jump shot. You, you, that's clown shit to me. But I understand everybody can't make their own bill. But I do think it's a disease in the department of everybody copying each other. And from everything about that person, bill, you try to do. Like, my nigga, you can't do nothing on your own. You can't give this motherfucker no type of you. All that nigga is me. You, your whole bill is me. And this is why I. This is why y'all say, yo, Anonymous, what's your jump shot? You'll never get it. I never tell you my jump shot. I never directly show you my height, my weight, my seeds. The only time you get that shit is by mistake. When I'm when I'm checking for something, you're like, oh, okay, now we see your shit. But y'all always had an issue because Anonymous would never tell you his jump shot. Because I don't want you to be me. I want you to beat me with your skills. I don't want to give you my skills. Nigga, what the fuck? I want to be better than you. I want to compete against you. I don't want to fucking help you beat me. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with Duke Dennis in that department. We should go for creating our own, our own player and, and our own creativity. Now, but like I said, when it comes to the things that work in 2K, some of us, we're going to be very similar. And that's nothing we can do about it because 2K has made it that way. It's not our fault that 2K only got three fucking dribble moves that work. That's not on the community. That's not the community fault that 2K only got one jump shot that work. That 2K, 2K is so fucking bad, they got a thousand jump shots, but you can only use one. And I'm, and I'm listen, and I'm just using jump shots for an example. But let's go to something more realistic. Let's, let's talk about the dribble moves. No matter what type of bill you make, point guard, shooting guard, center, power forward, there's a list of things that only work for that category. There's a list of dribble moves that only work for the small guards. 
You go in that list and you see 30 fucking triple moves for the small guard. All of the best small guards gonna have the same fucking dribble move. And that's not the community fault. That's 2K for dumbing down the game to say this dribble move percentage gonna be 90, while this dribble move percentage of working gonna be 12. You think I'm an idiot? So you think I'm finna go with the 12 to be different? Man, you gotta be shitting me. What the fuck I look like going down a road that only got dollar bills on it? This road got hundred dollar bills. So you gonna take your stupid ass over there to get the dollars when the same road can you can go down and got hundreds? I ain't no fucking idiot. So 2K sets themselves up for people not to be versatile. 2K put themselves in that position for people not to be trying other dribble moves. Niggas would love to try the shit, but every time they go try the shit, you know what happened? Be not rejected, slow as fuck animation. So 2K need to fix that shit on their end. That ain't a community issue right there. I said a lot. Chanting. This is how I play when I'm just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? I know my camera probably dark, but as y'all can see, I'm just chilling. I'm playing the game right now. Is he lying though? Let me ask y'all a question. I want y'all to go in the comment section. Is he lying though? One of the biggest problem with 2K itself is the community that plays it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Let that simmer in. Let that simmer on your because hey, I want to make sure I listen to this shit. Cause this shit sounded real good. It's a, it sounded like a good ass debate that we can get into. Uh, Brutus Sim asked, is he lying about what he said? Let me get a little more context because I want to see. He's chilling. I'm playing the game right now. Is he lying though? Let me ask y'all a question. I want y'all to go in the comment section. Is he lying though? One of the biggest problem with 2K itself is the community that plays it i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait let that simmer in let that simmer on your spirit <laughs> i know y'all gonna get crazy in the comment section and to be honest with y'all i think that's just how it's gonna be that's just that's one of the reasons why i choose to approach the game how i approach the game because unlike most people i don't necessarily think you could fix that issue i think one thing 2k cannot patch is the community that plays the game and that's for multiple reasons right but see i'm i'm i guess i haven't i'm, I'm saying what context are they speaking patch what what is he lying about like i i, I think i missed that part and bruce saying can't pass the community pass the community for what for example i think basketball in general 2k the same thing applies to 2k is better and i will compare it to boxing and let's say ufc right two different competitions rules are different of course but when it comes to ufc you could use multiple styles in fact most fighters learn multiple styles okay i'm following Whereas boxing one style box yes now, of course you got different yes. variety or whatever stands whatever different Oh, I, I hope he's making the point that I'm thinking because this is an amazing point if he's going to make this point. The point I got in my mind, if he make this, it's fire. And I really just kind of said everything that I think he's about to say, but I hope he go that way. Let's see if me and him is on the same page. Strategies they use, but at the end of the day, one style. I'm yes, more sir. of a UFC type of guy. I prefer to watch that UFC. Versus the scenario. You can, you can stand up, you can go to the ground, you got submission, you know what I'm saying? You got wrestling. Jiu-Jitsu, boxing, um, Taekwondo, UFC got many styles of fighting, but boxing is boxing. Basketball is basketball, and we can't change that. So I really am interested to see how Brute is going to wrap this together right here. That fighter is able to tap into that style to win the fight. The fight is usually one based on style. It's more of a chess strategic game. Not right. saying boxing isn't, but at the end of the day, it's one style. Yes. And who could do that one style the best? When basketball or 2K 
go more towards the UFC side with multiple styles, it tend to be more excited and more fun. This is the one of the reasons. But what other style does 2K offer? See, that's where the disconnect that is for me. And y'all, let me know if I'm wrong. Does 2K offer? Okay, okay. 2K does offer multiple styles, multiple dribble moves, multiple jump shots, multiple this, multiple that. But the success rate, are you going to try to force a zero percentage dribble move to work against a guy who using the success rate of a 99 steal? Are you following me? Type one if you're following me. I have a 99 dribble ability. He has a 99 steal. But the dribble move that I'm using does not equate to a 90. Come on, y'all. You're not. Come on. You know what I'm talking about, right? The jump shots. When you go use a jump shot, what is the success rate of that jump shot? It's not because of your timing, but it's because 2K has a percentage on it. If 2K wants to give us a jump shot, let's say 2K has a thousand jump shots. Whether you make that jump shot is solely up to you. Green or miss. That would be perfect, right? You could try any jump shot in the game then. But no, you can't try any jump shot in the game because there's a success rate attached with the jump shot. So 2K is giving up diversity while in the back pocket fucking with the diversity. I'm so good at this. Oh my goodness, I'm so good at what I do. Did I just make sense? They're giving up diversity all while playing chess on our diversity. So while we think we're versatile, we're not versatile. Because guess what? If I don't use the dribble moves you're using, my success rate drops. So why I don't play park? You could ask my guy Jay. We spoke about this multiple times. I hear him say, yo, I'm about to go park, play park or anything. I'm like, bro, you run against the same people every game. It's a small guard, a heavy set lockdown that's quick as hell that could body you up because he got 99 straight, 99 steel, 99 perimeter defense. And of course he got the speed over 90. They got a center who could grab boards, copy and paste across the board. This is how 2K been for the past few years when you go out there and play that board. In fact, that's one of the reasons I like Rec. Rec have way more variety in who you go up against compared to Park. And this is not just for the casual. This is for the comp scene as well. Why do you think the comp scene died all so fast? Not even that. Why do you think Joe knows? But see that once again. See, I dis I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree because. Stage and park is different for two reasons. Stage players understand the exploits that they can exploit. Park player don't understand that. Let me repeat that. Stage players know which bad shots they can shoot. Stage players blitz, reaches, let me let me let me break this down real slow. A part player would allow you to stand there and hold the ball. A stage player won't. A stage player will reach at you while standing there. In your mind, you know that he can't take the ball from you because why would 2K let me be stripped just standing here? The stage player will actually reach, cause, <laughs> cause you to lose the ball. And you said to yourself, how the fuck did he get the ball? I ain't even move, 2K. The stage player understands the ins and out of every exploit. I'm talking about the comp, <laughs> the comp stage players, not the ones that are just visiting. The visitors, you can tell a visitor stage player versus somebody that lived there. You can tell a park player versus somebody that just visiting. You can tell a rec player versus somebody just visiting. You can tell a comp program player versus somebody that just visiting. The difference, the reason that program, I mean, 
stage is so much of the same because they all understand the principle of how to exploit the game on another level, just like in comp program. A comp program team will nine times out of ten dominate a regular program team because the regular program team might not know all the ins and outs of this. 80 hours how to put in on this comp program side or these blitzes, these traps, these this. So you're gonna see a different gameplay based on the skill level. That has nothing to do with 2K. That has something to do with you, the individual. But it still come down to on the comp side, you're gonna see a 5-9 PG on both sides. You're gonna see some form of crazy lockdown on both sides. You're gonna some, you're gonna see some major center that can set big body picks on both sides on the comp scene. See the comp scene don't change, but the comp scene is reacting off of strategy along with broken mechanics. So therefore, I don't know if I'm making sense to some of y'all. I think what I'm saying might be too. Difficult for some of y'all to grasp. And I'm trying to see how can I simplify this. 2K does not give versatile. They don't. Part and stage is only different because of the players. And if you see two stage team playing against each other, you're going to see the same formula. The only reason part looks Calmer because they don't know how to fully be dogs. Hard players are low level players. Red players are low level players than pro am. Pro am players are low level players than than wagers players because of understanding. But two K doesn't give that. Two K doesn't create no diversity. Two K is two K is basketball. But they're broken mechanics. That are, this is how they create diversity through their broken mechanics. Because you might not know the broken mechanics that I know. That's the diversity that 2K creates. I hope I'm making sense. Because I'm saying some really good shit. And I'm not just talking, I'm speaking facts. I hope I'm making sense. To the outlast year so much. Because he decided to run with a taller guard. And was running ISOs and based on the scenario he would pass to that person call a back door he would adjust his style based on who he was playing against and based on what worked and what didn't work compare that right. to most comp players who run the same thing small guard three-point hunting around screen left right left right be be because so in our world we're going to try our best to win with IQ. There's people that step out of rules. The people that follow the rules are not playing stage every day. I hope I'm making sense. The people that follow the rules are not wagering and comp pro -am. The people that follow rules play wreck part theater i hope i'm making sense i'm saying some fire shit 2k has a broken system and the people that don't follow the rules will always dominate and always three hunt the people that follow rules won't go out there and three hunt because we know it's wrong we don't, that's bad basketball. The people that don't follow the rules will play poor basketball and win. But it's not 2K giving us a diversity. They give it to us through that broken game. But what I'm saying is, we are trying to be hoopers, logical, respectful, team players, let me, let me help y'all understand. Most of us, we would not dunk the basketball with three seconds on the clock. We'd dribble it up, right? Most of y'all would do that. 
A stage player is dunking the basketball. A comp pro am player is dunking the basketball. A wagering 2K team is dunking the basketball, shooting the three. They not dribbling out the clock. That's the difference in 2K. Whether you go park or stage, whether you go rec or pro am. That's the difference. It's the difference in who will go for bullshit, aka glitches, exploit. Park player don't really care to, care to make glitch bills. A rec player don't really care to make glitch bills. But the stage players do, your comp pro am players do. That's where we at. We have morals versus no morals. We have the guy that's gonna dribble out with three seconds on the clock, and the guy that's finna shoot this shot. He don't give a fuck what the score is. <laughs> 2K doesn't give that though. 2K doesn't create a diversity. 2K is what it is, basketball. They don't get, they don't allow us to go use any jump shot we want. So we trying to force it upon the community to say we are the reason that everybody, like I said, I do hate copycats. But there are some things you can't help but to copy. The behind the back, the step back. I guarantee you it's only two or three step backs that work. Everything, they got all these options, but the efficiency of these options is dog shit. So who in their right mind would try it? A park player, a rec player, a theater player. I'm not being disrespectful, I'm telling the truth. Why would a stage player, why would a comp program player try something that he knows the percentage of it is weak when he got to go up against dogs? This is why we talk shit about stage players and comp program players because I know that they know how to really fuck me over if they choose to. Because I won't go outside of the rules of basketball. Sometimes I do. But most of the time I'm going to try to outsmart them. Sometimes I go for a dumbass shot when I'm just no time on the clock and then, oh, green. Nigga, how the fuck did I just make that? No, but this stage player, this comp pro player, player, guess what he's saying? Nigga, I'm outside the rules every day, nigga. I live this life. I'm finna three hunt until I can't three hunt no more. Guess what? You play within the rules, pass to your homeboy in the corner, guess what your homeboy in the corner do? Brick. All of a sudden, you go back down and lose on the other end because you play basketball. But this guy broke the rules. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Stage players and comp program players, you're not going to see no diversity from them because there is none. 2K doesn't give it. When it comes to a skill, I don't know if I'm I, I, I guess I can hear myself talk. And I know to some people, it's going to be like, nigga, what are you saying? It sounds like it's complicated, but it's not. It's really simple. And I want everybody to get it, though, because this shit I'm saying, it's all 2K fault. The community have a disease for copying. I'm with y'all on that. But 2K doesn't give us option of diversity. They give us a false perspective of diversity. They give us a, they give us placebo effect all day, every day. You're going to try to put on any other move that is not the popular one. And why is it the popular one? Because of the efficiency. You'll have one or two players that are trying something different. Now you ask him that is trying something different to go play against the best stage team. To go play against the best comp pro am team, and he'll be saying, "Damn man, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure out a little something." There are cases where you see people trying some different and it work, but when they find out he how, how efficient that is, okay, you know the triangle in the NBA, 
the triangle in the NBA. Everybody can't run the triangle. And everybody have made their form of the triangle, right? For my basketball head, everybody have re-modified the triangle defense. All right, I can't. Who started that shit? Um, what's that, Pat? Phil Jackson? Thank Phil Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> People copy his shit all day, every day. Why? Because of the success. So you got motherfuckers, they done made they shit, they version, but they still got the concept from him. So everybody tried to follow success. How many people tried to recreate the Warriors? They have a hard time. But motherfucker trying. How many people tried to copy the Lakers? When they had the, um, uh, Shaq. Andrew Bynum, uh, Kobe. How many people tried to create the dream team? How many people, like, in real life, that's human error. So you can get a champion team, a championship team like the Bucks. You can get a championship team like Toronto. What the fuck? Who see that coming? see OKC be where they at right now? Who seen Boston Celtics going back to back to back? Because there's human humor error placed in these situations where diversity is welcome. You can be what his name the the the, pop, the little center nigga from the Warriors, green the green nigga. That's their center. That's the guy that's gonna go up against the White House. That's the guy you got. You got Draymond Green gonna be your your big, and you're just gonna surround him with shooting. You gonna have that little fucker? But see, that's real life. But see, in a video game, you can't ask people to change from something that 2K is placing a percentage on. As I said with jump shots, and I, I feel like I'm getting off topic. God damn it, I hope I'm not. Hope I'm not getting off topic. 2K is giving you thousands of jump shots, but they're giving you a percentage with the jump shot. They're not letting you free form. Okay, I know when the jump shot get right here, let it go. Boom, let it go. Green. That's not you. You can't do that. 2K is saying, boom, the jump shot get right there, let it go. Boom, damn, I miss. Why I miss? Because 2K have a system attached to that jump shot. That's different. So now you're telling me I can't be versatile. So you're asking me to do something different when 2K is affecting me, the guy, the human that is controlled. It wasn't a human error. It was a system. I'm going to keep moving forward, though. I'm going to move forward. Cause, ah, man, I send a lot of shit. Repetitive. And that's why most people don't have fun with the game. Now I saw a clip, right? And I shared it with my guy Jay. And it was this dude who was playing Mario, a old school game. He plays it a lot. And I was like, bro, gaming was so difficult back in the day. Now I want y'all to check this clip out. I remember that. <laughs> that shit used to be fun though back in the day. You all know how it is with shorts and of course TikTok. Once you click on something, they say, oh, he's interested and they keep sending you. So I keep seeing this clip over and over again. Multiple clips of him playing mm. Mario, right? An old school game. And I can't help but think, let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. If 
we got a game that was as difficult as this game was back in the day. People in the gaming community would be demanding that these developers patch the game and make it easier because it's very hard to complete. Now, of course, I'm an old head, but I remember times just being stuck on this one level and dying nah, and, for dying, real, <laughs> and dying, getting mad, getting off the game, get back on, dying, nah, for real, and, dying <laughs> and then guess what? We I remember finally them days. got past Damn. that level, that feeling of achievement. So I remember them days. Anything you could experience when it comes to gaming that does not exist no more. Now we have a community that want everything easier. That as soon as see somebody do something and it's successful, we're gonna adapt it and, and just do that alone. And then we're gonna blame the person that is doing it successfully. And we're gonna point the fingers at the devil. No, make it easier for me to be good. That's what I see happening over the past few years in the 2K community. And we could go on longer with this video from the stuff we requested from the change. I can, I can agree. I can agree with that. You know, of course, you know, I, I agree. Uh, people do want things to be easier. They don't want a challenge. Like I said, that's where you get your cheaters at. But, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm still saying that, um, yes, if we want to see other things be implemented in 2K, 2K got to give us full power, full access to do what we want to do. See, when we look at that Mario game, we see him jumping when he hit the button. We see him moving left when he moved left. We see him move right when he moved right. But see in 2K, we move left and God damn it, the motherfucker still don't move left. We hit triangle to jump, motherfucker ain't jump yet. We stop moving the controller and the motherfucker still moving. So we want things to be fixed that is completely broken. And I think all of us agree on that, including my brother Brute here. We want things that should be properly working to work. If I don't move my player, then that motherfucker shouldn't move. If I hit triangle to jump, he should jump. We, we, we're dealing, we're not just dealing with glitches, we're dealing with broken mechanics you know what's so crazy we haven't even been talking about glitches 2k25 but yet we're still dealing with a broken game let's think about that for a second glitches have not been a main focus this year other than the, 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 the cheating with the, with the shooting but you don't hear about a lot of major glitches. Oh, they made a seven foot bill. Now I think recently somebody came out with a glitch where you had unlimited attributes or some shit, but that's new. Before then, we ain't been hearing about no glitches. Yet, we still dealing with a broken game. A game, that's interesting. Excuse me, just finish eating dinner now. <laughs> Nigga say you hit train again, he jumped twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my nigga, you playing hands up defense and your dude reach. You be like, bitch, that nigga, who told you to reach? I just been holding hands up defense. This nigga out there swiping. What the fuck is you doing? 2K put hands up defense and swiping on the same analog stick. So you holding up. All you holding is up, hands up. You didn't hit over up. Left up, right up, down up. You just holding up. Hands up defense. Yo nigga to smack the shit out of this man. You play hands up defense and somehow you get a shooting foul. What the fuck? How I get a shooting foul for hands up defense? <laughs> just we requested across the board to how I feel like the Tuki community literally killed a my career mode single hand. With some assistance from the devs as well, because they listen to the 2K communities. They do have a huge part to play in this. I'm just real interested in how the community keep getting blamed for 
a lot of this stuff. That's interesting. That's real interesting to me. The community has a lot to do with where we at today. But 2K25, all the issues are pointed at 2K. This is, this is, listen to what I'm saying. The 2K community has been a bad apple, a bad apple for a long time. The 2K community. Bunch of cheaters, bunch of glitchers. Motherfuckers out here lazy, don't want to grind their bills. They ask for 2K to make this shit pay to win. Yeah, the 2K community is behind it. But the issues that we're having in 2K25 don't have nothing to do with the community. I, so I'm lost at why the community is coming up this year. The community been should have been put on trial. Should have been motherfucking in prison by now. The, the 2K community. The 2K community should have been on trial. But this year, this is all 2K. So I don't know why we're taking the focus from the people that is on this year. We should have been put the 2K community on trial. The 2K community is the reason we got to buy our players right now. Them lazy motherfuckers. The 2K community is the reason that you, you got to, you can't, um, you got to earn, you got to buy your badges and you can't earn it no more. Everybody can do B99 day one. Everybody got Hall of Fame legend badges day one. That's the 2K community fault. The cheaters using glitches. It's the 2K community fault. 2K put them there, but the community ran with it. Okay, but the issue that we're having today is 2K. The poor defense. I don't know nobody. To, anybody in the chat help make 2K? Have anybody in the chat wrote a code for 2K25? Have anybody in the chat wrote a jump shot shooting code for you fucking keep missing and your, and your shot meter changing? And it was released right here earlier. Now the motherfucker is releasing back there later. Have anybody wrote a, a code in 2K25 to say that when you catch the ball, you should still be moving. When you caught the ball, you didn't move nothing on the controller, but you're still moving. Have anybody wrote a code for 2K25 where you play hands up defense, your the uh, offensive player shot the ball, but you, as the defender, was still going backwards like you were still guarding something when the ball was already released. Have any of you, so if none of y'all ain't wrote a code for 2K25, why, what are we talking about? This is, this is 2K shit. Everything that's wrong with 2K25 is on 2K. Everything that is wrong with 2K25 is on 2K, not the community. So while we're taking the focus off, we got to keep a pressure on them. Are we, we, are we just bored? Oh, let me see. Let me think. Let me think. So when the big fish isn't really giving you no response back, why do you keep attacking the big fish? So go after the little fish. Little fish. Might respond, give you some attention that you need. Hmm. The art of war. So there's no reason to keep pointing fingers at 2K. They don't entertain us. They're not going to respond. They don't give a fuck about what we say. So let's put it on the community. Okay, I see what's going on. Well, I'm not just saying it's the 2K community only, but all I'm saying is we do have some responsibility in this equation. We do have, and I know y'all don't want to think that nobody ever takes a look in the mirror. I usually, when something goes crazy around me, even if it's not my fault, I look at myself and say what I could have done better. That's the approach I take in real life. Now, the sad thing with all this is, I don't think no change is coming, man. And this is a reality I had to accept, which is why I choose to have fun. I don't care about win percentages no more. I like to play with my subs, although it's challenging sometimes when y'all breaking my shots, but 
it's all love but we could talk that shit and just have <laughs> some casual fun to this game but at the end of the day one of the biggest issues we could all agree with this game is the community and we could get much deeper in this but i don't want to make this video an hour long if you really want me to dive into detail all the ways i think the 2k community is a problem not the only problem but does contribute significantly i would like to hear his opinion i would like for him to go deeper i would like for him to go deeper and speak on this matter because based on what i'm hearing we know what the community has done we know we know that we know the community has fucked us we know I, I made a video back here telling about how the people that was complaining about they didn't have enough time to play the game. 2K, 2K, they, they made 2K a, a billion dollar corporation along with us because we, we had to jump on board and get left behind. But what I'm hearing now, I just don't understand why the community is the focus point in 2K25. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't understand why in 2K25 the community is on trial. The people that should be on trial is 2K. But yet we're taking that heat off of them and we're throwing the community in there. I am not understanding that. I'm not getting that. I don't understand. But shout out to my brother, man, from another mother. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, we all got to give... um. I praise and support for these guys for bringing the information, giving us something to react to, talk about, man. So we salute, salute to Brute. Y'all make sure y'all go hit the link in the description. Hit that like, man, on the video. Show some support, man.